Okay, looks like I'm black. We're playing a uh, OGS 4Q today. Okay, so we'll see uh, what the difference is between 4Q and 8Q. And we'll just approach. Play nice and simple, see what they do. Okay, they back off, very good. Just gonna play normal Joseki. They approach here, pretty good, nice and solid. Um, I think we're just gonna back off again. We'll go high, see what they do. Okay. Take the corner. And we'll make a base. Okay. Normally if they uh you have two double wings like this, you wanna just three three and then reduce, and they're both low, so it should be pretty easy to reduce. Um, but when you don't do this, I can play something like this, and it doesn't really have a good base. And my corner gets uh, really strong. Okay, so he's not quite alive yet. I do have some Aji over here, but it should be okay for now. He has this one. This one's pretty far away. This one's kind of close, so I think we'll approach this way. Okay, so he kicks, so we'll just jump up. And then the difference between this kick and this one is if they play this way, the corner is very solid. There is some Aji over here, but there's some weaknesses on this group still. So if I run out here, even if he lives here, he damages this group. And hmm, if I go here, he probably will go here. I need to defend, and then there's a lot of space here that he can invade. We're just going to play uh, nice and safe. Just make a base. He invades right away. Okay. I guess there's not much places to play, but I would think defending the top or a Hane here to make the corner solid, or even an invasion over here or a reducing move would probably be better than this one. We'll see what he does though. Okay, so he's just trying to connect under. Hmm. If I just connect here, I'm not really getting anything and I have to come back and connect anyway. So we're gonna be a little bit more aggressive here. And Hane. Hmm. Connect. And peep. Okay. So this is my weakest group. There is still some Aji here, but I don't really have time to play it yet because I need to defend. Don't want to let him peep here. So I think I'm just going to defend like this. This is very, very small. Like something over here would have been much bigger. Um, if I jump in here, I'm reducing the corner a little bit, but it's not reducing it too much. Um, and this is not really 100% alive yet. So since we have an extension here, we can run out. It should be safe enough, so we're going to uh, play here. And this also could damage his corner if he's not careful. Not going to try and save everything. But if he captures, we get to Atari. So I could go here, and if he goes to capture this, I just kind of connect and he damages his corner. And I think we're making a pretty decent connection. So yeah, we'll go ahead and do this one. Okay, so we Atari. And we connect here. So now he's damaging his corner quite a bit. And he doesn't really have a good move. He has to do a Ko, but this Ko is really dangerous for him, because if I win it, um, he doesn't exactly have two eyes yet. Looks like it could be another Ko. Okay, so he's trying to get out. So if I push here, here he cuts Atari. I extend Atari here. If he pushes, he's kind of uh, trapped in a net. So I don't think I'm too worried about that. Okay, yeah. I think he misread the net here. Um, he can extend here, but then I just extend. And he hasn't defended his corner, so uh, allowing me to play here feels very nice. Um, but looks like he's going to try and attack first. Okay, he does come back. Hmm. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and connect. He defends. I can play here later, and he's not quite alive yet. But I think we're just going to... Jump here, capturing the two stones, and making sure this is alive. And the top side looks like it definitely needs to be uh, defended. But it looks like he doesn't want to defend. If I go here, he goes here, I go here, he can Atari. So yeah, we'll just extend. 
But he's running out these stones and they're just getting weaker, not stronger. Um, this is not alive yet, but I don't see this ever getting into trouble because this group is just a little too weak. This is weak. This one, he has some Aji he can mess with, but I don't see it ever becoming an issue. Okay, so he finally invades over here. And we're just going to Kasumi out because this group is also not alive yet. And attach here, so we get at least a few eyes in the corner. He's not 100% alive yet. I think I just want to surround. If he pushes, we can go here, here, connected, and he's not 100% alive. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's getting rid of my eye shape. I guess he wants to cut. Um, but if he did all this and pushes and doesn't cut and just extends here and I extend, then he can't really cut anymore. And, okay, so then he kind of wasted these moves. He should have saved it, and then maybe he could have played a clamp. Blocks here. Okay, just going to block. And block. Feels like he still needs to add some moves here. Okay, but he helped make my connection stronger. This group is, again, getting weaker. He also lost Sente. So now this is pretty much dead, but I don't want to capture it in a small way like this. This group is weak, so if I do something like this, I'm connecting to my weak group, kind of capturing this because I have a strong wall over here. And if I can just connect to this group, then I don't have to worry about any of these cutting points. And again, not too worried about killing, but mostly just force him to live small. I take my profit on the outside. Okay. We'll block here because there is a peep here he has to worry about, so we can attach here and really just force him to live small. Okay, he tries to fight back. I'm not sure how hard he can fight back here though, because there is a cut here. I do have a cutting point to worry about, but I don't think it really matters. So yeah, he cut here, but he didn't uh, do anything with it, so kind of a wasted move. And I get to surround this anyway, and he gave me a free point. It looks like he still needs to come and live here somehow. I can just Hane here and connect. So there's some Aji here, but I'm strong on the outside, pretty strong over here, so it should be okay. And if he has to come back and live here, now that this is strong, I can come and invade the top side. But it definitely feels like he needs to uh, live here. If I play here, he goes here. I just go here and then I can connect, okay? So he's trying to do something. I think we're just going to run out and capture this stone. We have lots of liberties here, so we're not too worried about this cut. If he cuts here, we probably just Atari this way, and then Atari this way. If he extends, we can Atari this way, push this way. And we have liberties where we can capture this first or this first. And we're not too worried about it. Okay, he does this one. Mm, so he wants to save this, but if I just run out here and he goes here, hmm, could be some Aji there. I think I'm just going to capture this one stone, so it helps fix the Aji over here. And if he blocks here, I can still run out. And if he tried to block this way, I could connect. Um, he goes here. Okay, I'll just uh, capture. I don't think he can cut me off here. And even if he did, as long as I can keep my liberties pretty well, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, he's already cut off. If I go here, I'm helping him fix his corner. So I think I'm just going to stay connected. Um, if he tries to cut, I can go here. If he connects, I go here, capturing these stones. And this whole group doesn't have two eyes. Okay, so it looks like he tries to do that. Again, I don't want to help him fix this. But I don't want him to connect either. Hmm. So if I go here, I'm getting rid of my liberties, which can Hane here, and then there's some Aji. Hmm, hard to say. Yep, I'll just go ahead and cut. Okay, he goes there. And I think I will just try and connect out that this group is not surrounded. He can clamp here, I go here, he can connect under, that's okay. If he goes here, he can kind of squeeze, but I connect. 
And because this is uh, not alive, it should be okay. But here, I think he still has to add a move here to live. I have some potential here, but I probably will just invade to reduce the top side instead. Uh, but it looks like he's focused on trying to uh, kill this, which if he cuts, I think I just Atari and connect. And then I can capture these stones or capture here. And then this is all connected. But yeah, it definitely doesn't feel as uh, messy as the AQ. Although some people in the comments were uh, saying that that was not normal. But let me know if this is more normal. Where they still seems like they kind of don't defend. But that's normal on all servers, I think. Okay, so he keeps trying. Like I said, he can squeeze here. But I don't think it matters because I should just have more liberties and be able to capture him first. But he didn't really need to try all of this. Even though I was probably ahead if I got all of this. If he just took points and didn't play this slow move here and just played on the outside first, I wouldn't have gotten the center. And the game would have been close. Um, but instead he tried to fight back really hard without any supporting moves. And just ends up dying everywhere. And then he still has to come back and defend here. And looks like he's going to try and create another weak group. And again, this doesn't have enough liberties. Okay, he probably should have cut here. I would have to go here, extend. I probably would have kept pushing. I would have lost some points here, but I would have got points in the center. And But now I'm just going to defend that cut. Make a few points here. He has to run out still. And this is still not alive. And that's why I would have been happy to let him take this, because it would have been Gote. And then I could have came back and uh, killed this. At least I think I can kill this. I feel like this should just work. So if I go here, he goes here, I extend, he can block. But then I just push, and it doesn't look like he has two eyes. Okay, so he's trying to reduce this side. I don't really think this works. So if he cuts here at any time, I can just block an Atari. And if he pushes, obviously, I'm just going to connect. And I don't think he can live over here. And even if he did, he's just kind of giving me the center. He attaches. Okay, so we're just going to extend. Although maybe this one works. Um, if he blocks, I just go here, capture. If he goes here, I can connect under. But he can make an eye here. So he goes here. I'm not really sure why there. Um, I guess he's trying to make this cut work. And so I will just uh, protect my cut. Okay, and he finally comes back and defends. But he didn't defend this, and he didn't live here. So I think I'm just going to attach here. He'll take the top side, but I'll get extra moves in the center, which hopefully will let me capture this in a more natural way and on a larger scale. And him not doing that, of course, I'm just going to... Hmm, I'm not sure what I want to do. If I extend, he can still just Hane under, and I don't really reduce him that much. So I think here I need to Hane. And then if he extends, then I can run out. Uh, this cut is not that scary. And now this group is very weak. And even if he connects to the center group, it's not 100% alive. Okay, so we're just going to make sure we run out and stay connected. Okay, so he does cut. Don't want to play here because then he can play this one. Not sure if it matters too much, but if he cuts here, I go here, here, here. He has to go here, I connect anyway. It doesn't matter too much. Um, so yeah, I'll just descend here. But it still feels like on this server, like every other server, at least until, you know, Dawn level? I don't know. Maybe 4 Dawn and 1 Dawn, there's a big difference. But normally, if you just defend your groups, they kind of just kill themselves everywhere. Okay, so he does try to cut. And we will just connect... Not sure if I want to do this one or this one. Uh, this one cuts off something a little bit easier, so I'll go ahead and do this one. And this whole group just doesn't have two eyes. 
So if I just go here, he can do this one. I probably will just cut. He can live in the corner. Um, but he didn't do that, so I'm going to make sure I'm alive in the corner. And he also just doesn't have two eyes yet. Okay, he goes here. Obviously, I don't want to let him connect. Although now there's uh, some end game where I can play here. He connects, I can connect under. I think I'll just go here and connect. I'm not too worried. I should be ahead even if this loops. And he still has to add a move here. And if he doesn't, I can turn here and throw in. And there's no eye here. Um, he could try and make an eye here. But since he didn't, I'm going to go ahead and play here, which is uh, threatening a cut. I think it was a little bit more difficult if he played here first, because if I just pushed here and here, he almost has two eyes. Okay, I'm just going to stay connected. Okay, stay connected. I don't think he can really make an eye here. If he uh, goes here, I just peep. If he goes here, I just Atari. Um, if he goes here, hmm. Uh, this one I just think does not work because I can just net. Okay, so he plays here. But I believe I can just capture. If he pushes, I can block. Even if he had Taris here, I connect and everything is connected. And this can be reduced by quite a bit because when I play here, I believe his best move is here. I connect under, he had Taris, I connect. He lives here, and I can cut off two stones. Uh, this group is just not alive yet. And then now this group is also, I think, dead. Okay, so it looks like he's trying to make an eye here. But this push and cut doesn't work. So I can just uh, get rid of this eye. But I think even if I don't, if he goes here, I can cut. But... We'll just uh, cleanly kill. I think I could have Tanuki'd and it still was dead, but we'll go ahead and respond. Okay, and he resigns. So yeah, I just did not defend at all. Okay, and I would like to uh, thank all my patrons, and I will see you all next time.